up Steve Lacey. The alarming rise in COVID cases starting to take its toll. Just yesterday, New York recorded that record of 21,000 positive test results. It comes as the state ramps up testing more than 260,000 were done yesterday. That's a positivity rate of just under 8%. That's nearly double what it was just one week ago. We start our coverage with Sharon Crowley, who's outside Radio City Music Hall, where there have been a lot of disappointed people wandering around tonight. Sharon. <laughs> Yeah, that's an understatement, Steve. This show is not going to go on, at least not here at Radio City Music Hall. The Rockettes canceled for the rest of their season. So many families coming to New York City, some for the very first time, all the way here just to see the show. They were very disappointed after bringing their children here to New York City for the holiday season. holiday classic now canceled due to surging COVID cases here in New York City. The Christmas Spectacular starring the Radio City Rockcats at Radio City Music Hall ended the season early. It was supposed to go into January. Instead, the shows were stopped after a COVID outbreak among the dancers. I'm not happy about it at all. This is our senior trip. We flew up here from Georgia. We came from Virginia, so it's a long ride, and we came up here and we bought tickets two months ago. It's a long drive, and we want, and it's just a long way to come to be disappointed. All this coming as New York State sets an undesirable record. More than 21,000 people tested positive for COVID-19 in just one day. It's the highest single-day total for new cases since testing became widely available. It's like another gut punch, so it shows us that we need ongoing support from all levels of government. The New York City Hospitality Alliance says dozens of restaurants suddenly had to temporarily close due to COVID cases. It's a list that includes Contento Restaurant in East Harlem. There are definitely uh, there's feelings of frustration. There's feeling of anxiety, um, that feeling of, of defeat. <laughs> And it's disappointing for business owners, of course, for the Rockettes, uh, their cast and crew, and of course, all the audience members. But you can still go see the tree outside, and there are plenty of people, as you can see behind me, trying to do just that, Steve. And some of the restaurants that have closed say they tell me they probably won't open until after Christmas. Some of the shows on Broadway, the musicals, had to postpone because of COVID outbreaks, but they're hoping to be up and running again in the next few days. As you know, this is just a pivotal season to be making money for the hospitality industry that was hit so hard during this pandemic. Steve, I'll send it back to you. Very well. All right. Thanks, Sharon.